Yes, mambo vipi ladies and gentlemen, welcome ndani ya Kenya Marekani. This is the platform where we bring you any news regarding Kenyans in America, how you can come to the US. Yani we just bring the best out of everybody. So uh this is the platform. So keep it here. I know you've been always our supporter and today we have a very very good news that we want to bring to you. Yeah, you know it's been a big challenge uh for guys to get uh visa appointments and uh even if you have ever been to the US like it's your second time it's been a big challenge so but uh we are bringing some good news today so keep it here thank you for your support but make sure you subscribe and this is how you do it so today we are bringing exciting news of uh you know this is happening in the Nairobi embassy this we have a new a new ambassador who is Meg Whitman and she's been doing a lot of reforms and uh thankfully to her uh we are able to see to reap from her active active duty uh as an ambassador in Nairobi so i'm going to go direct to this is i'm reading from the US embassy and uh yeah so today you can see uh the embassy tweeted this 23 hours ago so it's current news so uh today we announced the expansion of the interview waiver program for non immigrant visas yeah so the press is what i'm going to read to you i'm just going to read as is because it's been a big challenge people uh have personally invited my sister to come and see me when i was having my kidney transplant but she got her visa appointment 2023 so and it was in 2020 21 so a lot of guys are getting appointments uh two or three years uh like later that's much later so uh but uh and this affects even people who have ever been to the US but today uh the ambassador she's doing great reforms at the embassy so this is the waiver that uh and press the press that the embassy provided for everybody so this is in public domain and uh, the US or the US embassy in Nairobi expands interview waiver program for nine immigrant visas non immigrant means people who want to come as students people who come as visitors whether you're coming to see your auntie you're coming for a wedding that's non immigrant visa so it means that you're coming to US for a certain period of time and then you go back so as you can see uh, Nairobi Kenya September this was uh, since uh, September 16th 2022 as part of ambassador Whitman's pledge to reduce the non-immigrant visa interview appointment backlog the united states embassy in nairobi announced today that it has expanded the interview waiver program for non-immigrant visas so effective immediately those applying for tourist visas that is b1 and b2 student visas that includes f uh, f type j and uh, m so in f we have number of f visas and also j and also m and also crew visas which is c1 and d categories may be eligible for a visa renewal without any interview so uh it means that if you've ever had a visa from the united states uh of america the embassy itself you you are eligible to under this uh, new waiver but we have a catch which i'm going to read uh, to qualify for this program you must apply be applying for the same visa category and your visa cannot have expired more than 4 years ago formally the limit was 1 year for more information please visit the embassy website so uh, it means that for example if you ever came to the us united states if you've ever been to the united states uh, maybe you came here in 2020 what 24 2016 or let's just say 2017 those are five five years those are yeah five years 20 in 2022 so 2017 to 20 uh 2022 those are five years so it means if you had your visa expired in 2017 it means if you want to come to the us you have to go to the embassy but if it expired in the duration of between less than 4 years it means you are you are the people we are targeting here so it means uh you are part of the eligibility uh with the new waiver 
So uh, this is a good news. This is a absolutely good news. So it means uh, if you've been to the US, you will reduce the hassle of paying again the, I don't know, it's 20,000 for visa application, which is a lot of uh, shillings. You know, it's a lot of money and it's non-refundable. So that's a good, good side of it. And especially for people who come for business, people who come here uh, as musicians. Uh, so the catch is you must apply the same, same. If you came as B1, if you want to renew, you have to also be under the same category. You cannot, you cannot apply uh, in a different category. So you will not be viable yeah, under the new regulation, under the new uh, dispensation. So uh, it means if you're coming for the second time and your visa had expired before four years, you can come to the US under the same visa. If it was F1, stick to F1. If it was uh, B1, stick to B1. If it was B2, which is tourist visa or business, stick to that. And uh, that's how it goes. So uh, I think it's a, it's a good thing and it's a plus. So I'm, I'm going to take you also so that you see the ambassador is very serious. The ambassador was seen. Uh, they recorded a video of her at the embassy. You know, every every person knows that embassy. Who is in America knows the embassy, and it's a chilly place. Yeah. So I've just seen her on the video in the Nairobi embassy, and chills ran all over my body. Yeah, because that place is scary. Is scary. I'm telling you. So let's see. Let's see uh, what uh, one of her, uh, her videos. Okay. So this is our ambassador, the new ambassador. Working here with the team. Yeah, we're gonna watch this. Here I am in the consular section. And what I'm doing this morning is um, helping to reduce the visa backlog by taking applicants' fingerprints. Working here with the team to uh, try to work that backlog down. I'm trying to do my part and uh, help uh, help get people's visa applications processed and off to the United States if they get approved. And I'm delighted to be here. Here I am in the consular section, and what I'm doing this morning is um, helping to reduce the visa backlog by taking. Yeah, I think you've seen you've seen you've seen what it takes. It's it's not easy. It's not <laughs> that place brings tears. But she's working uh, hand in hand to make sure that uh, the backlog is being reduced, and uh, which is a good thing. She's hands on, and uh, it will help our people. Who, whoever wants to come here in the, in the second period, uh, it's a good, good sign. So, um, yeah, and I saw, I saw same, same, same concept. The South Africans, the embassy in South Africa. Let's try if I'll see that video as well. Yeah, the uh, the same concept is applied uh, with the embassy of South Africa. I saw. Yeah. And I'm the new U.S. ambassador to the Republic of South Africa. My team and I are taking on the challenge of reducing delays in visa processing for applicants. Hello, my name is Ruben Brigadier. Yeah, that's I'm the new U.S. ambassador to the Republic of South Africa. My team and I are taking on the challenge of reducing delays in visa processing for applicants in this great country who wish to travel to the United States. The COVID-19 pandemic dramatically affected the U.S. Department of State's ability to process visa applications globally, including right here in South Africa. And even though challenges persist, we are committed to resolving the long wait times for non-immigrant visa appointments while bearing in mind the welfare of our staff, our applicants, our and the national security of the United States. States. Under, Under my direction, direction we, are we are taking several, several steps to shorten the current wait times. I'm sorry, I think I'll, we'll have to take that again because Hello. there was no volume. My name is Ruben Brigadier, and I'm the new U.S. Ambassador to the Republic of South Africa. My team and I are taking on the challenge of reducing delays in visa processing for applicants in this great country who wish to travel to the United States. The COVID-19 pandemic dramatically affected the U.S. Department of State's ability to process visa applications globally, including right here in South Africa. And even though challenges persist, 
We are committed to resolving the long wait times for non-immigrant visa appointments while bearing in mind the welfare of our staff, our applicants, and the national security of the United States. Under my direction, we are taking several steps to shorten the current wait times. First, we are hiring more staff. Second, we are working longer hours. And third, we are opening up more appointments for applicants. By doing this, we will be able to conduct an additional 10,000 visa interviews by Christmas, which would bring the wait time down to pre-pandemic levels. For applicants renewing a visa in the same visa class within four years of a prior visa's expiration, you may be eligible to have your interview waived. If this applies to you, you do not need to appear in person for an interview. Please visit our website and take advantage of this policy to allow you to renew your U.S. visa without an interview. Facilitating your travel to the United States for tourism or business is a top priority for our mission, and we hope to reduce your weight in the quickest and safest way possible. Lost my voice there. Anyone? So that's just a reiteration that uh, if you're coming to US for business, that's tourist, uh, and same same visa, you will not need to go back to the embassy. So that's a good sign. It's a good thing. Not not only in Kenya, also in South Africa, they're trying to push that agenda, and uh, it shows that the backlog affected mostly countries in Africa because uh, I believe a lot of people want to come to the US for many reasons, some for business, other for greener pastures. So it doesn't matter. But uh, so that was all on my desk today. I'm Kenya Marikani, a platform for you, for all of us. So if you like the content, the content that we do, you can support us uh, by becoming our member. Yeah, on all the videos, you can, you can see a button that says join. If you press join, you'll be able to join and become part of our members, paying a small fee, and then uh, it will go a long way in enabling us to do what we do, bringing you information, uh, supporting our community, and uh, just motivating uh, different people from different all I mean from all walks of life, young, old, yeah, young at heart. <laughs> so keep it here for more information. God bless you and remember to subscribe to Kenya Marikani Kama Kawaida. God bless you.